With Jabuloni footballs now selling for upwards of £1,000, not everyone can get a chance to test one of these beauties. This controversial football is still one of the most in-demand balls of all time, and this means a lot of people aren't able to buy one. But I've recently seen websites that sell replica versions of this famous ball, so I've bought a load of them at different price ranges to see if any of them move like the real thing. I've also bought a few of the fake footballs that I'm going to test out in this video, including the 2500 Louis Vuitton ball that I got for 30 quid. But first, let's test out a fake version of the 2020 World Cup ball. You know what? This seems pretty damn good. So this is an Etsy version of the latest World Cup ball called the Arilla and cost me around £20. And as you can see, it looks really good. It's not quite as shiny as the real one, but it's not too bad at all. It's got all the right logos on and for a replica ball, it's actually got a good amount of grip as well. So doing skills with this ball felt really good and dare I say it, maybe even better than the real one just because it was a bit lighter and had a good level of grip on it. So that's the skills test done and this ball performed really well, but how is it going to do for shooting? So I did a bit of target practice with both these balls and they were pretty similar to be honest. Oh! I managed to hit the target with both of them. So overall, this fake World Cup ball is actually very good, but there was only an £80 price difference. Whereas this next ball, there's a £2,500 price difference. Right, so in this bag, I have two footballs, one that's worth £2,500 and one that's worth £30. Now let's see if you can guess which is which. Right, so here's the two footballs. I'm gonna give you some close-ups and try and guess which one is the real one. Now, whichever ball it is, it's a pretty good remake. So, the real ball is the one with the hexagonal pattern on it. And I'm gonna be honest, it's one of the worst footballs I've ever used. I tested it a while back and it was super hard to kick and just horrible all round. So I actually have high hopes that this 30 pound version will be better. Let's test it out. For skills and freestyle, the fake one was definitely better. But to really see how they compare, I've got to test it out on the pitch. Oh, that is horrible. So from the first initial shots, it definitely felt better than the real one, which is hilarious. But to be fair, I'm not sure if the Louis Vuitton ball is actually made to be used. It's more just for show. That ball is 100% better than the real Louis V ball. So both these balls were terrible, let's be honest. But the next football on the list is one of my all time favorites. This is a fake version of the Adidas Brazooka. It costs 20 pound from Etsy and it's an absolute beauty. The ball of the summer for 2014. It's a really good light for light remake and the colors are popping in the sun. Let's give it a kick. This ball honestly looks just like the real thing and for the freestyle test it performs really well. The only thing I would say is that it doesn't have as much grip as the real ball, it is a little bit slippy. Now let's take it to the pitch and compare these balls for shooting. Look at that, everything's just a lot bigger on it. Took some shots into the top left trying out some curve because it had more grip the real ball did perform better but overall they were both really good oh, right so from that shooting test there's not much in it but i will say that i was hitting the better shots with the real brazooka and it was a bit nicer to hit it just had a bit more weight behind it a bit more grip but overall this wasn't bad and looks wise it is really really good now it's time for the big one, the fake Jabulani's. If these actually move like the real thing, this could be a game changer because the current price for a real one is around six to seven hundred pounds. I've bought three different Jabulani's at three different price points from 25 pounds to 100 pounds. And hopefully at least one of them will move like the real thing. First up, Amazon's own 25 pound Jabulani remake. Now with the Amazon Jabulani, the only thing that actually makes it look like a Jabulani are these designs here. Apart from that, 
nothing's the same. It's not got the FIFA approved quality logo. It's not got any of the World Cup stuff. And the panel design is completely different and there's no grooves or anything. So it's very unlikely this is gonna move anything like the Jabulani. As you can see, this ball was moving a little bit, but nowhere near as much as a proper Jabulani. Any movement it did have was just similar to a regular cheap football. So I'd say that the 25 pound Amazon Jabulani definitely doesn't move like the real one. Now, just to refresh your memory for comparison, this is how much a normal Jabulani moves. Yeah, pretty crazy. Next up, we have the £35 Jabulani remake. And with this one, it definitely looks like it could be a lot better. So next up, we have the Etsy Jabulani. This was around £35 and looks wise, they've done a pretty good job of replicating the real thing. The panel designs seem to be the right shape. All the things are in the right place, although all the logos are a little bit bigger. The only thing that suggests it's not gonna perform like the real Jabulani is the fact it has none of the grooves on the outside and the surface does feel a lot smoother, but Nevertheless, I'm excited to try this one out. Let's do it. Straight away, you can see that this ball is moving a lot more than the Amazon one, which is a good sign. This ball was moving quite a bit. So you know what, for £35, it definitely didn't move as much as a real Jebulani, but it did move more than a regular football. And after testing this one, it's given me high hopes for the £100 Jebulani, mainly because this next ball has a feature that the other two didn't have. Right, now I am excited about this ball. This is the £100 fake Jebulani, and it looks extremely realistic. And it's the only fake Jebulani that I've tested that actually has any sort of grooves on the outside that looks similar to the real thing and the design is basically the same so yeah it's not perfect but it's close and I've got high hopes that this ball could move pretty crazy. Well I thought this ball was a really good light for light remake then I got Cam to take a look at it. He knows a lot more about Jabulani's than me. Let's just say he wasn't impressed. Look at, look at that. Come on Cam you're the Jabulani expert. That is shocking. Is it shocking? Yeah. 100 pounds. That, that should be like really small font that fits just under there. That logo has been that blown up on word art. Yeah. That's one panel which is right. Oh, like these just... middle bits are just grooves, so that, that's wrong. Oh. That's just shambolic. Is that even legal to have the FIFA logo on? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, let's see if it knuckles though. That's the big question. Yeah, that, that ball, it either moves really well or goes on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it's so light that it's actually all right. Oh, that moves Ooh, a bit, doesn't Straight off the bat, that shot was pretty crazy. Mate, that does move though, doesn't it? Come on, that does move. Mate, what do you think? That does move a bit. I mean, it's not the real thing, it's... Mate, this ball is like, it's like an air floater, it literally just moves that. Oh. But the ball itself, it's not like a dead ball it's wobbling, it just goes in the air weird. Now this shot moves pretty mad, but this ball seems to move differently to a real Jebulani. It moves more like an air floater, it's hard to explain, but hopefully you understand what I mean. So far, so good for this ball, but there's also one more side-by-side -side comparison I wanted to do. So this is hitting the ball straight down the centre line. This makes any movement more obvious. And you know what? It's actually pretty close. But I would definitely say the real one moves a little bit more. And just as a football, the real one is far nicer to kick because the fake one does feel a bit light. That's probably why it moves. Cam sums up our thoughts on this ball perfectly here. Although it doesn't really knuckle like a jab, it moves weird. Yeah, no, it does. But like, I swear like all cheap footballs have a bit of movement. Like if you buy like matchable replicas, they're the same. Yeah. This is just a horrible, horrible version.